Hi everybody, thanks for watching. Today I'm going to do a review of this Tramontina hard anodized non-stick uh, pots and pan set. And I'm not doing this on the fly. I've had this set for about a year now and I've actually kept the box in the garage up in the attic in the garage uh, for this occasion. I wanted to use this stuff and see if it's crap or, or good and I wanted to pass some information on to you guys. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the set. Uh, as the box says, it's 15 pieces. It's got heavy gauge construction, a non-stick interior coating, cast stainless steel handles, and a lifetime warranty. Um, it is NSF certified and it's made in the USA if that kind of stuff matters to you. So you know they're Teflon pans, which is the non-stick interior coating. They don't really advertise that in a big way. Just this little thing down here says Teflon. So if you don't like Teflon, you won't like these pans. Um, let's talk about the pans now. Okay, everybody, I've got all the pans right here next to me, and I'm going to talk about each one individually. Uh, first, let's start out with this 8-inch saute pan. This is perfect for omelets. I'll be honest, we don't use this one that much. I'm not a chef. I'm a father of two young girls, a 7-year-old and soon-to-be 4-year-old. So this might be okay for pancakes, but I use one of those Orgreenics for scrambled eggs in the morning, or one of those diamond blue uh, non-stick ceramic plates. Those work better. So this is a neat little small 8-inch saute pan. It's got the Teflon insert coating inside. Uh, again, I want to tell you one other thing. I never use metal utensils. I always use wooden or my little rubber IKEA ones or plastic ones. So these non-stick Teflon surfaces should last me quite a long time. Uh, eight inch saute pan is fine. Next pan we have is this everyday pan, they call it. It's a four and a half quart or 4.3 liter. It has a fairly tight fitting lid. So if you want to do something like steam rice, it works. Um, it's almost wok-like in, in a way, uh, not a completely rounded bottom. But uh, uh, we use this for casseroles. We don't use it for rice because we have a rice maker for that. But it's a nice everyday large skillet without the big handle. It's got the double handle so you can really lift something heavy. The big stock pot, this is an 8 quart stock pot. Of course, our biggest use for this is to make my famous potato soup and to boil spaghetti noodles. Uh, big, eight quarts, two gallons, holds a lot. Um, it's got the stainless steel handles, and this is really my only critique about the entire um, line of, of pans here. Okay, these handles are steel, and if this gets really hot, that'll conduct up here to these. So some people say, I don't like it because it has handles that get hot. Well, that's just how it happens, so you got to use pot holders if you have this on the stove for a long time. If you don't have it on the stove for a long time, these are fine for quick movements. Another pan, we've got the deep saute pan. Uh, it's got the straight um, sides on this. It's a three-quart pan, big enough for browning some meat and letting it saw, or uh, let, letting it stew in its uh, juices for a while. Um, pretty useful pan, the long handle here. Um, this lid, incidentally, is the same size as the big stock pan, uh, so you can, uh, those are interchangeable. Another pan we have are the small saucepan. This is basically mostly used for uh, gravy for us, or if the kids want a small thing of ramen noodles or something. Straight walled, one and a quarter quarts, uh, useful, nice tight fitting lid again, clear so you can watch what you're doing inside. Another one is the two-quart saucepan. This again is for maybe uh, oatmeal. Uh, just a little bit larger, gives you another size option. Clear, coat, clear top again. Well, what I just used tonight was the uh, three-quart or 2.8 liter saucepan. Uh, the lid is somewhere around here. No, right here. Uh, it's an everyday pot. We probably use it every day. So you got three different saucepans to choose from. You've got the one and a quarter quart, the two quart, and the three quart. Uh, and then you have your big skillets. This skillet or saute pan um, is a 12 inch saute pan. Good for, um, uh, I like to saute onions and stuff. But again, for the real nonstick stuff, I use my orgreenic, which is kind of cheesy, but my orgreenics are wonderful. I love them. Uh, bigger handle, if you need some big sauce or saute need, this one will, will do it. And the last one I've only used a few times, this is the round grill. I cooked a couple steaks on this about a month ago and it turned out pretty good. Uh, it's a 13 inch or 12 inch, 30 centimeter round grill. And the lid 
from the other pots fits on it. So you can cover your stuff and, and cook it well. So that's my review of this 15 piece hard anodized nonstick uh, skillet pot set by Tramontina. Uh, it's made in the USA. Uh, we love it. Uh, we do not use metal utensils. We use plastic, wood, or rubber. And so, you know, the insides look almost new after a year of uh, hard cooking on them. The price on this, I thought it was under $200, probably between $150 and $200. And I think we got it at a box store or something like Bed Bath & Beyond. So if you do go buy one of these, uh, it's going to last if you don't use the hard utensils and you take care of them. Um, but uh, get on the internet and look for those 20%, 25% coupons because they're always out there. So that's my review. Uh, I'll put some other stuff underneath the uh, screen as I talk about some other things that I probably missed. But uh, I'd give this probably a solid 8, 8.5 out of 10 for the price. This is a good set. Uh, it'd be a good gift for a young couple just starting out. And uh, I think they could do a lot worse. If you like my videos, hit subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.